So in the last video, we had set up our tab gesture handler. Tapping on it would animate our login view up. Let's go ahead and configure this animation to make it a lot more smoother. So here where we're using the width spring transition, we're passing in our is open animated value. As the second parameter here, we can pass in our custom animation configuration. So let's open that up. And on top here from the animated, let's go ahead and import in something known as spring utils. Spring utils will provide us a default spring configuration, which we can override to just modify the values that we want. So here within this, let's say spring utils dot make default config. And then let's just spread this out. Next, we'll update the overshoot clamping and set that to true because you don't want it to overshoot beyond the animated area. Lastly, we'll update the damping and set it to a new animated dot value of 20. And there we see that looks much neater. Let's reload the app again. And that moves in really nicely. Now the thing is, when this moves up, our get moving with Uber moves really close to the top of the screen. We could modify either the margin top or the padding using an animated value, but that won't be very performant. What would be good is if we could just translate this screen to a place over here so that get moving with Uber moves down. So what we'll do is in the outer login Y, instead of moving right to the top to zero, let's move it to login view height. That seems to make it move slightly lower than where it should be. So let's make it login view height divided by two. And that looks about right. But then what do we do about this background blue color here? So let's just reload the app again. As we remember, behind this login view, we have another blue colored overlay view. What we could do is we could move that along with this view and animate its color from that blue to this white background. So we need to do two things. One is to move that background up. And the second is to change the background color. Let's first do one thing. Let's take that overlay view and move that into its own component. See here, I'm just going to cut this out. Open up our components folder and create a new file. Let's call that overlay bg.js. Then I'm just going to create a functional component, call it overlay bg and paste it in here. We need to make sure we import animated from react native reanimated. I'm just going to add curly braces here and then just pass in a return statement here. Next, let's go ahead and import this overlay BG. So where we had copied it out, let's just pass in overlay BG. Visual Studio Code should automatically import that for us and let's save that out. It seems like we also need to import login view height here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say import login view height from our constants file and save that. So we just reload this. It seems to be working the way it was working earlier. Now come back to app.js and inside our overlay BG, let's pass in our is open animation. Now in our overlay BG, we have access to it. And depending on this is open animation, Let's translate the overlay BG up to the top position. See here, we'll say const translate Y is equal to, let's get interpolate from reanimated and interpolate over the is open animation. We have the input range, which is from zero to one. And the output range is going to be from the screen height minus the login view height, which is the initial position of the overlay BG. And let's move it to zero. And this should be screen height. And it's already imported that in for us. Let's just temporarily change this background color and make this gray. And let's just pass in the translate Y here by saying transform translate Y. Now, if we tap this, we see the background color is moving, but it's just moved to the top position here. We need to move it beyond that to get it to this position. So let's move it to the position where we're moving this particular screen as well. So it's a negative of the login view height divided by two. And there we see it's on top exactly where we want it to be. Let's reload the app. Let's try that again. 
and the overlay BG has moved up there. We obviously saw that grey colour here, but when we animate the background, it shouldn't be visible. So here, let's interpolate the colour from the blue colour here to the white background. So we'll say const background colour. Use interpolate colour. It's imported that in from React Native Redash. And here, we'll pass in is open animation. Input range. We'll move from 0 to 1. And output range. Let's copy this blue colour. I'm going to uncomment that. Comment out the grey. Copy the blue in here. And the final value that we want is white. Let's just pass in the hex value of that. And let's save that out. Now here for the background color, let's just remove this so that it picks up the background color from here. Let's save that and let's reload the app. And now let's try this. So we tap this here. We see it move up, but we obviously see the blue over there as well. So let's change this to 0 0.5. And when it's at half its position, we already wanted to change to one. So let's try that. Let's save that again. Let's reload that. And it's starting to look a lot better. Now let's get rid of this border width and get rid of this text. From my app.js, let's also get rid of the border width. Let's save that. Now let's reload the app and try it out. And that looks much neater. We can modify that further by actually moving it to a slightly higher value, which is the login view height, and it might move faster. And that looks just about right. So it's just about playing with the values to get the right animation. Now let's go ahead and animate these components.